Uh, I've been out for a while because I was sick, and then huh, I had college started, which is more bullshit. And now it's Friday the 13th, and I hear a lot of people die today, so good news, right? And it's raining, so I got nothing to do. So today we're gonna do a um, well, let me see what we're gonna do. We're gonna split videos or um, you know, cut clips. Either you want to use the clips to uh, do some video editing later. Or I just want to cut that certain clip and uh, upload to YouTube. Same deal. Okay. The uh, first thing you need is the Avidemix or Avidemix. Okay. Uh, you want this package, or if you want, you use this package if uh, you're on KDE, the QT version. Okay. Now this is how it looks like. Let's see. Uh, this program is similar to uh, Virtual Dub if uh, you use Virtual Dub for uh, Windows V4. And basically, all you can do is drag your um, video that you want to uh, cut the clip from. Um, see sliders here. And it's going to ask you to uh, rebuild a frame or something. Just do it. And done okay now it's loaded right uh, and all you gotta do is um, drag the slider to the clip that you want let's say um, that's the starting point right here if you want to start from there you just click on the A and it has a little bracket right now you move the slider to the end of the clips that you want okay let's say that's the end of the clip and you click on B, and that's pretty much it. You see the two bracket right there. And now all you gotta do is um, click on save. Okay, you don't want to uh, change the video or audio because uh, that way it'll convert it. This way it'll just cut it. It will not do any converting. It will not do any other motherfucking shit. Okay, so you click on save, and uh, where you want to save to? I put my desktop right, and give it a name you know whatever and the format was a uh, AVI so let's put it AVI okay and now we save it and you see it cuts it really fast it doesn't encode or anything so it's done now see and we have our uh, clip here see and there we go you cut your clip and now you can um convert it to your iPod or whatever you want to do upload it to YouTube whatever you need to do and that's how you do it